Hi everybody, it's me, Miss Teresa, and I am here to do another movement art lesson with you today. Today, our lesson is about double O words. So we're going to learn some words with double O's, and we'll learn about some sounds that double O's can make, the short double O sound and the long double O sound. We're also going to learn about some special kinds of moves called percussive moves and some moves called sustained moves. And then at the end of our lesson, I'm going to share a special double O poem that I've written for you guys. And we're going to use that poem to create a dance with percussive and sustained moves. So lots of fun today. But the first thing that we need to do is warm up and get our bodies ready to move. So let's go ahead, we'll stand up. Push our chairs in, put our feet together, hands by our sides, and show how we're ready to move. All right, you guys can follow along with me. We'll start with our head.
while we're still standing, we're going to learn about some different kinds of moves called sustained moves and percussive moves. We were actually doing some sustained moves and some percussive moves during our warm-up. So when you talk about sustained and percussive movement, what you're really kind of talking about is the energy that you're using for your movement. Sometimes we call that the quality of movement. So we talk about the quality of movement, that just means what the movement is like, okay? So let's talk about what sustained movement is like. Sustained movement has energy, uses energy that stays the same when you're doing it. So we talk about energy, right? We can actually have energy going on in our bodies right now. Lots of things are going on. Our heart's beating, our blood is pumping. We're breathing in, breathing out. And we can take that energy in our body and use it in different ways. Now, sometimes we might not feel like we have very much energy and we might feel tired, right? That means we need to rest. So if we're feeling tired, our bodies might want to like take a little nap. They might not sit up all the way straight, right? So we're not very using very much energy. When we move, sometimes we use more energy and less energy too, right? Sustain means the energy that you use is the same though. So that means it doesn't change. It doesn't get faster or slower, and it doesn't get softer or more gentle or more forceful, right? So sustained movement stays pretty much the same. So let's try some sustained movement. We'll just put our hands out like this. You guys are following along with me, right? Right. So we're gonna just kind of move and we're trying to keep our, our flow of energy the same. That's sustained movement. So you might be following along with me kind of mirroring me. And we're, we're taking movement so we're not getting faster. We're not getting slower. We're not getting more or less gentle. We're trying to stay sustained. So if you've ever seen Tai Chi, I've never done Tai Chi. I want to try it though. If you've ever done Tai Chi, that's some sustained movement. So the speed that we're going right now is pretty slow. And the force that we're going right now is pretty gentle, but not like super soft, right? We could be slower, we could be softer and more gentle. Okay, so that's some sustained movement, right? So even if we went faster, we would want to, if we wanted to keep it sustained, we want to go the same amount of fastness, okay? So, um, Percussive movement is different than sustained movement. So sustained movement, we want to keep it long and going the same the whole time, right? Our flow is kind of, the, oh, see I went a little faster with my elbow there. We want to keep it the same, the same. Percussive is not a long movement. Percussive is a kind of movement that is short and quick, right? Like a striking movement, like you're striking a drum. A drum. So some percussive movement, right? It's not going to be nice and long. It's going to go fast and kind, or short and kind of well, like a kind of fast movement. Um, you could use different kinds of force with it. We want to be careful when we're doing percussive movement, and especially careful if we're doing percussive movement that does use a lot of force, because that could we could accidentally hurt ourselves, hurt somebody else mess up something in the room. So let's try a quick, a little percussive movement with our elbow. Make sure you're not going to bump into anyone or anything. So we'll just do a little percussive elbow jab, right? So that's a short, quick movement, a striking kind of movement. Let's try two elbow jabs, jab, jab. Okay, those are percussive moves. So that part's the percussive, but then when I let my arm down slow, that was not percussive, that was more sustained, right? So percussive, percussive, sustained. Percussive, percussive, sustained. Do you guys remember this percussive move that we did in our warm up? That's a percussive move. Let's try that one again. Percussive, and then we brought our knee up. Percussive, yep. Boom, 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 boom. One more time. Boom, boom, boom. So you call it out to me. I'm going to do a movement, and you tell me if it's more sustained. It's a longer movement, or if it's more percussive, it's a more of a short movement. Okay, let's see. Let's try that one again. Yeah, that was not very clear. Let's try it again. It was a little more sustained, right? Kind of sustained. It kind of went slower at the end. Let's try it. Let's try a different move. 
That was not the best example. Um, let's try a different move. Was that sustained or percussive? That was more percussive. I did a jump, right? So it's like kind of short, quick, a quick little jump, right? Uh huh. It's kind of striking. Uh, let's try one more. Let's see. Was that more sustained or more percussive? That was more sustained. Awesome. Okay, we're going to switch gears right now, and let's go ahead and have a seat. We're going to talk about some double O words. All right, guys, it's time to learn about double O words. So when we see a word that has two O's in it, sometimes it can have a different sound, right? Sometimes the two O's have a long sound, long O sound like ooh, right? The long double O. That's a, let's make the sound together, ready? Ooh, that's a long double O sound. Words like zoo and broom have a long double O sound. But then other times we can look at a word with two O's and it has a different sound, like uh, okay? And that's a short double O sound, uh. So the words like book and wool have a short double O sound. So we're going to look at some different words with long double O sounds and short double O sounds. We'll learn them and practice saying them together, okay? So our first word is mood. Mood is a law, has a long double O sound. Let's say it together. Mood. Okay, we'll look at long double O sounds first. Our next word is zoo. Let's say it. Zoo. And our next long double O sound is broom. Let's say that together. Broom. Here's our next one. Moon. Our next one is food. Long double O sounds. Next we have spoon. Another long double O sound word is two. Here's another one. Roof. We've got two more. This one says hoop. Poop and poof. Poof. Those all are words with two O's, two double O's, and have a long OO sound. Now let's try some words that have a short double O sound. So this first one is book. Book has an OO sound, although, and it has two O's. Uh. Book. Okay, so what would this next one be? Wool. The next one is wool. Very good. This word says foot. Foot. The next word is cook. Our next word is Soot, uh, soot. Good. Then we have, are you guys saying it with me? Say it with me. Then we have shook, shook. And then we have look. Very good. Look. Our next short double O word is wood. Wood. Then we have took, took. All right, great job, guys. So now that we've practiced saying those long double O words and short double O words, I'm gonna read you guys a poem that I wrote and we're going to create some moves for our, our double O words. So we'll be using some sustained moves and some percussive moves for the long and for the short double O word sounds. 
and uh, and we'll also be making some shapes in our dance too. So it should be a lot of fun. I'm gonna read it to you first and then we'll stand up and start to move. Okay guys, so I'm going to read this poem for you and you can read along with me at the bottom of the screen if you would like. In this poem, I use some rhyming and I use words with short O sounds, short double O sounds and long double O sounds um, for the rhyming. So let's read it together. As I was walking on the moon, I thought I saw a silver spoon. It floated by like a balloon, so shiny that I had to swoon. When I took another look, the spoon had bumped into a book. The book then shook and shook and shook. So I hid inside a nook. I peeked out and saw the spoon had been caught by a baboon who was best friends with a raccoon. They had a lunch date right at noon. And I might have been mistook. I didn't know raccoons could cook. I think I'll be hungry soon. Time to fly home from the moon. All right, so let's get on our feet and we're going to create a dance to this poem with some sustained, some sustained movements and some percussive movements. Okay guys, so here's what we're going to do. For the words in the poem that have the long double O sound, we're going to use sustained movements to show those words. But for the words that have the short double O sound, we will use percussive movements. So in our dance, we'll have some percussive movements and we'll have some sustained movements and we might even have some shapes too. Okay, so let's get started. Our first line is, as I was walking on the moon. So moon is our double O word and it has a long sound, moon. So we're going to use a sustained movement. All right, you guys can say it along with me if you want to. As I, we're going to use sustained movements. Let it, let's move together. Ready? Here we go. As I was walking on the moon. Very good. Our next one. So we're going to hold this shape right here. I thought, oh, well, actually at the moon. Our next move, line is, I thought I saw a silver spoon. So our move will be for this. I thought I saw a silver spoon. Very good. Then we'll have, it floated by like a balloon. So shiny that I had to swoon. Okay, let's try that much together. Ready? Here we go. As I was walking on the moon, I thought I saw a silver spoon. Nice and sustained. Good. It floated by like a balloon. So shiny that I had to swoon. Awesome. All right, the next part has a short OO sound, like oh. Okay, so when I took another look, so that one has two. Let's do when I took another look, 
Good, try it again. So percussive, that's a sharp, quick movement. When I took another look, the spoon had bumped into a book. Good. So when I took another look, the spoon had bumped into a book. The book then shook and shook and shook. So I hid inside a nook. Okay, let's try that part again. When I took another look, we're holding this shape. The spoon had bumped into a book. Good. The book then shook and shook and shook. And so I hid inside a nook. Very good, guys. I peeked out. I peeked out and saw the spoon. Uh-oh, that's a long one, so we're going to switch to what kind of move? Sustain move. Here we go. I peeked out and saw the spoon. Good. Had been caught by a baboon. So we're going to do a little head scratching for baboon. It seems like baboons scratch their heads. So I peeked out and saw the spoon had been caught by a baboon. Sustain movement. That means the same energy who was best friends with a raccoon. That's the mask that a raccoon wears. You know how it looks like they wear a mask? Let's try that move. Who had been caught by, oops, oh, I said the wrong thing. Who was best friends with a raccoon. They had a lunch date right at noon. Good. And I might have been mistook. Oh, wait, mistook. That's a short sound, right? So we've got to do a percussive move. Might have been mistook. And really the right way to say it is I might have been mistaken. But since this is a poem, sometimes we get to change rules about grammar and that kind of thing. We're being creative. Oh, I love that about being creative. So instead of mistaken, that didn't rhyme. So we used mistook instead. And I might have been mistook. I didn't know raccoons could cook. Uh-huh, I might have been mistook. I didn't know raccoons could cook. I think I'll be hungry soon. Was that a long sound or a short sound? Soon. That's a long sound. So I think, I think I'll be hungry soon. Time to fly home from the moon. Another sustained move. Did you guys get all of that? Okay, let's try it together. Well, we won't pause as much this time. All right, so sustained moves. As I was walking on the moon, I thought I saw a silver spoon. It floated by like a balloon so, so shiny that I had to swoon. When I took another look, the spoon had bumped into a book. The book then shook and shook and shook. And so I hid inside a nook. I peeked out and saw the spoon had been caught by a baboon who was best friends with a raccoon. Who was best friends with a raccoon. They had a lunch date right at noon. And I might have been mistook. I didn't know raccoons could cook. I think I'll be hungry soon. Time to fly home from the moon. All right, one more time. Okay, ready, here we go. As I was walking on the moon, I thought I saw a silver spoon. It floated by like a balloon, so shiny that I had to 
swoon when I took another look. The spoon had bumped into a book. The book then shook and shook and shook. And so I hid inside a nook. I peeked out and saw the spoon had been caught by a baboon who was best friends with a raccoon. They had a lunch date right at noon. And I might have been mistook. I didn't know raccoons could cook. I think I'll be hungry soon. Time to fly home from the moon. All right. Great job, guys. You can go ahead and have a seat. Okay, everybody, thanks so much for joining me today. We did so many things. We learned about double O words and the different kinds of sounds that double O's can have. We learned and practiced some double O words. What else? We learned about percussive movement and sustained movement. We learned like a whole poem and we learned a dance to that poem too. That was like so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves and I hope I see you next time. Have a great week. Bye-bye.